the S55 engine, three litre twin turbo, 425 brake, it's quite fast. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the F80 M3. We've had this car for about six years now. We purchased it in 2017, in January, and I remember the day we went to get it. It was actually Raj's birthday. <laughs> and um, it was pissing down with rain and uh, I had to go and pick the car up from uh, sitting a BMW in Sheffield and yeah you can imagine what he said to that he goes what it's my birthday and you want to drag me out to Sheffield in the pissing rain I went yeah I said well you know what we'll just leave it for another day then he soon changed his mind and before I knew it we were uh, on the M40 going up to Sheffield but yeah I remember that day quite clearly um, it was purchased from Sitna BMW in Sheffield. It had around about, I think it had about two and a half thousand miles on it when we bought it. One previous owner, ironically, that was the BMW dealership. Uh, I think they used it as a demo demonstration car or something. So yeah, the car was perfect to be honest. Two and a half thousand miles on the clock. BMW owned it. It was a no brainer to be honest with you. The colors are secure orange. I originally wanted a black one and um, Raj was like, why do you want to go black? Why do you want to be boring? I was like, oh my God, here we go. He goes, oh, I found some nice colors. <laughs> a lot of them were crap, but the one that stuck out was the Sakir Orange. And I'm quite glad I bought the Sakir Orange, actually. It's, um, yeah, it's done well over the years and um, it's been a pleasure to drive. I've loved driving this vehicle every second. added a Remus exhaust to it, non-resonated cat bag. Thankfully it's got the, um, thankfully it retained the valve so when the valves are switched off it's quiet but if you want to go as bow you can just open up the exhaust valves and it's uh, it's quite leery to be honest. perfect vehicle not only for show use not only for demonstration use but as a family car it's um, absolutely brilliant it's got four doors there's plenty of space in the back for the kids and they got a massive boot as well well it did have a massive boot until I got involved How else can you be the coolest kid on the block? Check this out. That is cool. So since I think it was the second day when we bought the car, it went straight into the workshop to have the full airlift treatment. Now it's running full airlift performance front and rear struts and uh, 3H management as well. I think now it's, it's covered around about 35,000 miles and it's been absolutely faultless. The drive is much better than stock and um, yeah, there's no other way to get your car looking killer, right? These wheels have been on the car since day one. The only reason for that is because I've absolutely loved them and I don't know what else I would put on it to make it look any better. Um, they are rotiform, forged LASR, two-piece mono look brushed satin silver. You're running 29 and a half up front and on the rear we're running 20, 11 and a half. I'll tell you a funny story actually when I first put the wheels on you know what it's like when you first get the wheels of no I want branded tyres I want I want the most expensive tyres. I'm not going to mention what brand they were but I did go for some really expensive tyres on the car and I kid you not not only did they not last long they were rubbish in the wet and they were very noisy. So, after that, I actually switched to Nankang AS2s. Now, most of you are gonna go, why are you running Nankangs on an M3? I'm not even gonna lie to you. These tires 
grip in the wet, they're not noisy, and they last you a little bit longer than the top branded tires. They are absolutely brilliant. I love these Nankang AS2s. Now, one of the big differences between an M3 and a normal 3 Series is the arches. And honestly, when this car is aired out, it really gives you a feel of how wide the arches really are. I mean, just take a look at those rear arches. They look wicked, super wide. And even on the front, also on the car, where I'm running a Remus catback system, non-resonated, which uh, isn't always road legal, but you know, thanks to the electronic valves that are on the car, when the valves are closed, it sounds normal, but when you want to let it unleash, you can open up those exhaust valves and it does sound absolutely brutal. I love the sound of it. Now, another really good reason why you'd want an F80 is um, the size of the boot. It's very spacious. Well, it was until I got involved. Here, come and check this out. So, I've had a 10 inch Rockford P3 subwoofer, custom box made into the side panel here. And on, on the opposite side, I have the Rockford PBR amp, which is powering the sub. And also, the boot build for the air. Now, initially, I wasn't really going to go for anything that extravagant, but, you know, if we can, we will. And we did. So we added three carbon tanks. They're all seamless tanks. Um, two Vi-Air stealth compressors and colour-coded hardlines. It's all finished off in Alcantara. Some lovely groove work done in the panel panels here. Now, I do want to mention, we don't have CNC machines at work. This is all hand-built. Every boot build that we do, they are all hand-built. Steve and Jay are absolutely brilliant with their woodworking skills. But yeah, I was really chuffed with that boot build. Came out really well. This car didn't come from BMW with any carbon bits on it. So I didn't want to go, I didn't want to go carbon crazy, um, but I felt it needed something to complement the carbon roof. So as always, what, we, what I did was added the two carbon front canards on the front bumper. By the way, also had the number plate deleted off the front as well. So there's no holes beyond that bumper. Makes it look super cool. Come over onto the back. All I've really done is added the carbon lip spoiler to the boot lid and you've got the carbon diffuser at the bottom just over the exhaust. Do you know what? This is the perfect family car. Having the massive boot, the four doors and look, as an adult, I can comfortably sit in the back and there's lots of reg leg room as well. Which means the kids have extra space, right? Absolutely wicked. They love going in this. Dad, 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 do a donut, do a donut. No, no, don't do that sort of stuff. <laughs> Well, maybe sometime. Thankfully, this particular car didn't come with keyless entry and I wouldn't want keyless entry neither. You lot know what's going on with cars that have got keyless entry. Some guy comes up to your front door, waves this big laptop thing around, grabs your code, opens your car and that's it, your car's gone. So you've got to physically unlock this car. In addition to that, it's also got a smart track tracker fitted with driver identification. Um, it's also got a Clifford Concept 650 with dual zone procs. And we've added front and rear driving cameras or dash cams as more commonly known. And also if anyone comes near the car um, in the evening or when it's parked up, if anyone goes too close, the cameras will activate themselves and show them walking around. So you never know, you might catch someone's mugshot trying to, trying to get into your car, but um, it's not happened and um, I think the car's pretty secure. Well, now it's time for the sad part. After six years of ownership and many, many pleasurable drives, it's time to let the M3 go. That's right, the M3 is going up for sale so if you're interested in owning a killer m3 that's been meticulously looked after get in touch with us 
and uh, we can talk you through the process. But for now, I'm gonna go for a last drive and I'll catch you guys in a bit. There's two buttons on the steering wheel. One's labeled M1, one's labeled M2. They forgot the M3 button. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Did you get that? No. All right, anyway, listen. You could actually customize what those buttons do. So the way I've got it set up is that M1 puts it into sport mode, but leaves the traction control on for obvious reasons. And then if I press the M2 button, it's basically man and machine. Oh, this faultless motoring. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, my God.